today it's a departure day it's only quarter to six in the morning it's a beautiful weather it's completely calm still um, the wind is coming during the early hours of the morning so we're gonna go south what we see is the mainland over here uh, right there is a glacier it's actually having like 11 fingers down on every side of the mountain it's possible to go in there by boat it's a long fjord to the one finger of the glacier and it's magnificent when you come in there on a sunny day we've been there Two years ago, I think. And it's pretty cool. Um, the glacier is, of course, there all year round. We're looking south. Over here, somewhere, out west. And then we're gonna go south and then out to the sea. Um, to catch some more wind and then we're gonna go straight south from there the wind is to come from the northeast so it's gonna be a pretty nice sail I wanted to show you how insanely beautiful a um, sunset can be with the midnight sun under sail. It doesn't work. The wind all died out, so we have to motor the last bit now. Um, now it's almost 11 o'clock. Um, it's still a full sunshine. That is pretty nice. This is one of the last days we actually have uh, the midnight sun this year. It ends by the mid of July, starting in late May-ish, maybe in middle of June, yeah, something like that. So it's nice. Um, the sail has been beautiful. And now we're gonna go into an area down here. We have to show you on the map. We are coming southbound on the western side of an island called Vega. This is a very narrow and shallow place to go by boat. And uh, the area is really beautiful, but it's a struggle to go here by boat. We have to cross um, east on the north side before going south to the marina on the eastern side. We want to seek shelter here for a couple of days because of some very big thunderstorms coming north.
Vega is an island, and uh, surrounding this island, you will find six and a half thousand small and big islands belonging to the same community. This area belongs to the UNESCO World Heritage uh, List, and um, a lot of the area is protected. After a couple of days in Vega, the weather forecast was a lot better. It was sunny, 25 degrees Celsius. We were very happy and had a perfect sail. There's all the herring coming to the uh, surface. Some big fish or whales are beneath. All the seagulls are above and they have enemies all over. Out of nowhere the wind picked up, knocked the boat down. The surface of the sea was lifted into the air and we estimate the wind to be about 18 knots. There's good days and uh, bad days at sea, and this was a really bad day. Once again we had to seek shelter, and we had to ride uh, the storm for about two hours before coming into a marina. This storm lifted roofs off houses. The wind also lifted our dinghy of about 100 pounds or 50 kilos. It uh, turned her upside down. Luckily she became our drogue the rest of the trip. But we lost our oars. just leaving Brønnøysund. Uh, we've been here for a couple of nights. We had to come into uh, the harbor uh, when we met the big storm out here. So we're uh, going south, further south. We're probably having like 45 nautical miles probably ahead of us today in a beautiful weather. Do you know the height? 30. 30 meters. The big uh, hurti ruti is going beneath it, so I think it's okay. <laughs> Here we see Torgatten. Torgatten is a mountain with a hole straight through it. It's, um, yeah. it's like a national symbol, everybody knows where it is. It's a pretty easy walk to get up there. We are uh, having to clean up the mess from the gasoline on the uh, dinghy motor. When we hit the storm, uh, we tilted so much, so the gasoline actually just poured out from the tank. And today it's uh, really smelly. So we're just cleaning it up 